I'm warning you now, if you've got a sensitive stomach, do not watch this episode after eating. No, this isn't some witch's pantry. Today we're in the herpetology collection at the Geyer Center. Herpetology being reptiles and amphibians, but there's a lot more to this room than just webbed feet and scales. Some animals with delicate skin, like reptiles and amphibians, and even some fish, mammals, or insects, can't just be stuffed for preservation and education. Some have to be preserved in liquid. Now, the animals in this room are first put in a bath of formalin, and then put in these jars, which are filled with ethanol, which preserves their tissue and their skin. Now, all of these specimens didn't just appear. It took decades to accumulate all of these animals. Jeff Davis, head of the science department at Northwest Public High School, and John Ferner, a professor at Thomas More College, are two of our biggest collectors in the tri-state area. Also, the lizards you see right above you were from a 10-year research project in the Philippines by our previous ornithologist, Bob Kennedy. The value of having all these animals to study is incalculable for understanding our world and the ecosystems we share with these creatures. This has been our behind the scenes look at the liquid preservation room at the Geyer Center, something you can't even see on the tour. We are Cincinnati Museum Center, and this has been my museum center. Ribbit, ribbit. In a minute. Ethanol is a really flammable liquid, and there's a lot of ethanol in this room, so this is a very specially designed room for safety reasons. First of all, there's a lot of air ducts above me, high-powered air ducts that get any evaporating ethanol out of the room. There's a number of water spigots along the ceiling for extinguishing, and only special key holders can get access to this room under the supervision of one of our scientists, so don't worry, all this knowledge is safe. Like I said, there's a lot more to this room than just reptiles and amphibians. When curators preserve and stuff mammals and birds, they take out the insides for study and preservation as well. This entire shelf beside me is filled with guts. And all these tiny test tubes behind me are filled with our eight-legged friends.